Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on-the-fly review for you, and tonight I'm talking about Promising Young Woman, uh, released on Christmas Day, directed, written directed by Emerald Fennell, or Fennell, something like that, <laughs> uh, starring Carrie Mulligan, uh, Connie Britton, Clancy Brown, Molly Shannon, Jennifer Coolidge, Christopher Mintz Place, and uh, Adam Brody, plus a couple of folks around there. Uh, the whole setup here is uh, Mulligan plays a young woman who is still living with her parents and every weekend goes out to the bars pretending she is knocked out drunk waiting for a man to take her home and take advantage of her just to give them their comeuppance. Uh, I'm going to give you a spoiler here because this film is, is mismarketed. It's... it's Portraying itself as a horror film, as if she's a, a, a serial killer or something like that. But, she, you know, it's like, she, uh, it's like just more socially shaming these guys. The more of the story is she gets more into this vendetta issue around something that happened to a friend of hers in medical school. And she kind of gets her own little hit list going on. But she's not killing them or... Uh, you know, she's kind of terrorizing and harassing these people. You know... Now, I will say that Mulligan was terrific in this movie, and I really think the last reel of the film was just superb. Just all around good, just gripping, intense. Don't know what was going to be the next turn. That last run was really interesting, but the film was just full of storyline holes, characters doing con making contrived decisions just for the sake of this scene to happen later kind of stuff. And uh, this major character looks stupid, especially considering she seems to be this very, uh, very intelligent, very, very patient, uh, calculating person. And uh, I don't know, just the movie overall did not work for me. I will give it three stars because I think it was well made, had nice photography, good score, had a good script as far as, far, as, far as dialogue goes, I think. Uh, the narrative coherency of the film needed some work, but uh, yeah, I, I like the di dialogue and the and the some of the characters. I I do think that what ultimately ruined this movie. I do think I think the the already really good ending would have been just supported and helped. Uh, it would have been even more impactful emotionally, powerful. If it would have been the film that it was marketed as, if you would have portrayed their, your character as someone who was genuinely flawed and bad and not just pretending to be a bad person, you know, kind of thing. Uh, it's like they were almost afraid you weren't going to like our leading lady and it came to the detriment of the film, of, of, of the artwork itself. Um... Like I had said to my wife while watching this film, I really felt that uh, the softening of our heroine's edges kind of made her a less interesting character and to a degree ruined the movie. I'm going to give it, like I said, three stars because I think it is well made. It is worth watching. But uh, I was disappointed in this one because I really think... I really think they had the potential for something very, very good here. Anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I uh, hope y'all like all my stuff. Like, share, comment, sp subscribe. My baby just woke up realizing I'm doing a video without her and she's pissed. Anyhow, I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the floor.